For the last year, we've been talking about connecting our application to Business Central with OAuth 2.0 authentication. How many have you modified? Many, I'm sure. I'm sorry, but today I'm going to tell you how to connect to Business Central without authentication using only Power Automate. Welcome to my channel, Learning Business Central. My name is Roberto Corella and follow me if you want to learn how to do it. Let's go to start. The first thing that we need is to create a cloud flow. This like this, get customer, we get tried with, uh, with the customers and then let's go to see how it's uh, created. The trigger will be an HTTP request and this HTTP request have an option that is the method is get. Then this URL will be empty when you create the first step. Later, we create a variable. This variable is called customer list and the, the type is matrix. Why? Because we create a JSON then with all the customers. Then we will use this, um, this kind of, uh, of uh, variables. The next step will be search for records in this environment and this company with the API category 2.0 and the table customers. We can use environment variables here to the environment and here for the company in order to export the flow to another uh, environment. But in this case, I use directly the name of the environment and the name of the company. As you know, this action, search for records, give us a lot of records. And then for each one of them, we create a node in our matrix like this. Using the description that uh, as uh, we prefer and using the dynamic content to put the number, display name and address line. After this uh, step, we create another option called answer and the answer of the HTTP will be the code 200 and as body, the body of the answer will be the customer list matrix. And then when I finish this one, I click to save the, the flow. And when you press the save, you receive this URL. Then you can copy the URL go to Postman, we create an, an, uh, a request in, in Postman and create this URL. And if I press send, we receive all the customers in our database. In this case, these customers. As we have seen, we can use Power Automate to query Business Central avoiding using OAuth 2.0 authentication. In the next video, we will see how to write data in Business Central using the same way. Thanks for watching this video and subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss any of them. See you in the next.